So this is going to be our last topic in trigonometry. It's called trigonometric identities, or just trig identities for short. Um, it's They're not as important as the other topics we had before. This is kind of the least important topic, but it doesn't mean like they can still ask questions on it. They're just generally worth less than the other bits. You still have to know this as well. Um, generally, there's a bit of some messing around with the formula book. So it's page, I think it's page 789. Page 789. Mm. The tables, formula, log book, uh, whatever you want to call it. Table, formula, book, log book. I think it's page 789. There's loads and loads and loads of trigonometric identities. You don't have to learn them off. They're all given, and it's all about kind of messing around with those and trying to let things equal each other. So the way I'm just going to go through them is I'm going to do um, so the first few videos are going to just be on. So we have, I'm just going to call them general identities. Uh, general identities. Then there's going to be a few formulas on compound angles, okay? So compound angles, and that's going to be things like cos of A plus B. Okay, that's compound angle, what it's called. Then third few videos we're going to do are going to be double angles. So there's a few formulas for that. Double angles, and that is angles like this cos of 2a, okay, so that double also means the 2a, and then the last one then is called difference and product, difference and product um, of angles, so that's things like, so a product is sine a, sine b, and then a difference would be sine of a minus sine of b. Yes, that's so product are multiplied by each other and the differences they're taken away from each other. So that's just kind of the different types of uh, formulas that are given in the book. So we're going to go through them in kind of that order. Yeah, it's not going to be one video, two videos, three videos, four videos, but uh, there's going to be a few videos on this, a few videos on this, a few on this, a few on the last one as well. Okay, uh, so I'll start with the most important identities you have to know. So these some of these aren't in the tables book or they are, but they're not kind of, uh, they're not budged in with the rest of them. So I'll write this important I'm just going to leave it as important identities okay and the most important one probably is this one here that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to one okay Ooh. so you can use that for loads and loads and loads of different applications so always sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to one so that means you can change that to sine squared theta is equal to one minus cos squared theta, or you can change it to cos squared theta is equal to one minus sine squared theta. So that it all depends on your situation, which one of these you're going to use. But you'll see them really when we do start doing examples. Uh, why this becomes so useful. Another one as well that's really useful is uh, let's change color. Here we have tan of theta is equal to sine of theta divided by cos theta. Okay, so if you ever see sine theta over cos theta, you can break that up into tan theta and vice versa. So that's a really important one uh, that I don't think is actually in the formula in tables book. Some other important ones then, I'll go red, is that, so cosec theta, this is a new one, uh, but that's all it is, is one divided by sine theta, okay? So cosec theta is one over sine theta. Uh, I'll go no blue. Uh, fix that. Okay, sec of theta is equal to one over cos theta. Uh, that's a bit weird. You'd think that cosec would be cos, but it's it's not. So don't get confused between the difference of those. And then let's do what this one last. Yeah. So I mean, is then like you think cosec would go with one over cos theta, but it's the opposite. So it's sec theta is one over cos. Cosec is one over sine. Um, and those are in the tables book as far as I remember. Cot of theta then is one over tan of theta. Yeah. Um, yeah, so those are the most important identities really, those five of them. Uh, with those you can solve basic trigonometric identities. Uh, I'll show you the method now in a second. So I'm going to write them out as kind of points and then we're going to start doing some examples in the next few videos where, where you can actually use the method. So the first thing uh, to do is to uh, so write everything 
in forms of sine and cos. Okay, so I'm not going to write in forms of, but write everything as sine and cos. So if you see some cosex, some sex, some cot, or some tans, just write everything in sine and cos. And it's much easier to simplify things in, when, when they're like that. The second thing you should do is if you see something like this, so sine theta over cos theta. So I know that that's equal to tan theta, but if you write, this just as an example, write that in the form sine theta multiplied by one over cos theta. Because that's the same thing, they're, they're, they're both equal, uh, but it's just easier to see if you have one over cos theta, you might be able to see, oh, now I have to use sec theta. Um, it's just a trick you can use to help try and solve these equations. Then the third one, is this, you'll kind of see what I mean, but if you have two terms on the left hand side, and then you have one term on the right hand side, okay, um, basically and you, you have to turn those two terms into one, you're looking for a common denominator. So again, that's a, that sounds way more confusing than it, than it is, but when we look at an example, um, it's not too bad. So anyway, common denominator, I'm just gonna leave it like that. So yeah, that's just kind of a brief info in, intro to trigonometric identities. Uh, we're gonna look at loads of examples in the next few videos, so hopefully you get used to them. Uh, but yeah, all these things you kind of need to know, you need to know, definitely need to know all of these. Try and learn that method off, because it makes things a lot easier. Um, and these formulas are all in the tables book anyway. We're gonna look at some examples in the next videos and uh, hope it makes sense.